Good evening to all of you. Um, I support a lot of charities all around the world, but um, one of those that I'm very, um, I feel very strongly about is breast cancer. Um, the reason is very personal. It's very close to me. It's from within my family. My grandmother had breast cancer, and um, she succumbed to it about 15, 20 years back. At that time, um, we weren't that prepared medically to deal with it, especially in India. And um, I come from a family where my mother has got 11 brothers and sisters, and it's a very big family. And as you know, Indian mothers just keep the whole family together. They're, you know, they're rock solid. And um, we were all very close. It was a joint family. And then we came to know that she had breast cancer. And she was in the hospital. She kept going for treatment. And then she got admitted. And then she had the cancer removed. And it came back. And we just saw her deteriorate over a span of two years. And we saw that whole family that was so close together, that relationship just, you know, spread out. The whole unity that was there, the only thing that kept them together again was because she was ill. But that closeness that was there, there was nobody to hold them together. There was no glue there to hold them together. Once she passed away, everyone just drifted their own ways. But the pain we experienced, I saw my mother go through it. I saw her brothers and sisters go through it. And we as children, we would come straight from school to the hospital and we would see her go through her pain and we would see my mother go through her pain and the rest of the family and it just shattered everybody. It started with, with my mom one day I found her crying and my mother is a very strong woman and you know all the treatment and we just saw her deteriorate and pass away. Um, it was horrible. As a child I didn't know what was going on, it was very confusing. But I think that it's